The majority of communication is through body language, tone of voice, facial expressions, the yeah. content of a message, like the actual words spoken, not the way they're spoken, but the actual content is the smallest of percentages. And what happens with most online discourse, it's all text. Um, it's one of the reasons I don't use Twitter much because obviously the, the the character limit is a lot longer now. But once upon a time, it was any point you wanted to make, whether it was what you were having for lunch or what your views are on current political discourse, you've got to put it into 120 characters. And so yeah. what does it encourage people to do? To spearhead whatever their thoughts are. So it's the most concise and often most blunt and least nuanced perspective, which then becomes the battleground of ideas online. And mm. I think that is what leads to the dehumanization of others, because then you just find people are not shaking hands or, you know, gesturing on soft conversation to get an understanding. 